Call the Board of Public Works meeting to order. First order of business, reading and approval of the minutes of the last meeting. I'll make a motion that we approve the minutes without reading. Second. Motion made by Ron, seconded by Matthew. The minutes to the last meeting be approved as written. All those in favor signify saying aye. 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 Opposed? Ayes have it. Payment of claims in the amount of $267,745.89. I'll make a motion to approve the payment of claims as presented. Second. Motion made by Matthew, seconded by Ron. Payment of claims in the amount of $267,745.89 be met. All those in favor signify saying aye. 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 Opposed? Ayes have it. Regular payroll in the amount of $201,087. I'll make a motion we approve the regular payroll as presented. Second. Motion made by Ron, seconded by Matthew. Payroll be met in the amount of $201,087. All those in favor signify saying aye. 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 Opposed? Ayes have it. Additional payroll in the amount of $260 from the October 6th, 2023 meeting. I'll make, I'll make a motion to approve the additional payroll from October 6th. That's presented. Second. Motion made by Matthew, seconded by Ron. Additional payroll in the amount of $260 from October the 6th, 2023 be met. All those in favor signify saying aye. 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 Opposed? Ayes have it. Moving on to old business, seeing none. Moving right on to new business. Todd Wolf from the traffic department for the places of no turn on red signs at the corner of Miami and Main Street and Grant and Main. Todd? give people wanting to turn north or south onto Miami Street a green arrow unimpeded to get north and south onto Miami before traffic continues east and west on Maine. And the reason we need to know turn on red is that so drivers will give that few seconds of pause for those green arrows. The same reason we're doing it down at Maine, at Maine and Grant is because We've had a lot of near misses where people have got that green arrow to go north on Grant and we get a lot of rolling stops on Main headed west and we've almost had collisions there. So this will be westbound only at both <clears throat> intersections? It'll be wet it'll be west and eastbound at on Main for the Main and Miami. At Main and Miami it's west and eastbound? Yes, you'll have a no turn on red at both lane, they eat both east and west. And then westbound only at Grant Street? Correct, because there is, that's an alley on the south side of Maine, there at Maine and Grant. I know there has been a lot of uh, near misses yes. down at Grant and Maine because of people turning to the right heading right. westbound and people going east has a green arrow. Yeah. So. Unfortunately, if people would read the situation like they're supposed to, you, this wouldn't be needed, but yeah, it just kind of gets us. They stop yes. first right. and then yes. make a turn. But. Right. That doesn't happen a lot. So. And that will, uh, we will coordinate with Michiana contracting that's doing the light. So those will not go up until everything is in place <clears throat> and the uh, arrows are functioning. 
As a matter of fact, we'll probably put those up and then bag them, and then those guys can pull down the bags when, right. when they uh, activate the light. Any comment from police chief on this? Back up traffic on Main Street. I, it shouldn't. I think we can. I think we can get those guys. This is all new electronics, so I think we can. We can bring that down to the minimum on the arrow, because I rarely see more than four cars on each side. So I'm thinking, 15 seconds will get them through. I think. Even if it would be a 30-second arrow light mm -hmm. before the, they can still turn just by stopping. Right. Actually, the, the mm -hmm. loops are going to get, they'll rebuild the loops, and the loops will be, now loops, modern loops, let you know how many cars are backed up and how long that light should stay for that turn. Because there's two, there's two loops in each one of those turn lanes on main. So if there's only one car sitting on that first one, then it, the light knows that there's no cars behind it, so it'll time that arrow accordingly. It's a pretty sophisticated set of electronics they're going to put in there. So Tom, the only reason to have this no turn on red is due to people not abiding by the law? Yeah, and, and it also kind of, I think it that, all, it's kind of difficult if you're going westbound at Grant Street and going to make a turn north. If you've got the red light, after you stop, you can make the turn. People coming east have a green arrow yeah, right. before the light turns green. What a lot of people are doing down there, and I've sat down there and watched it myself, they're coming up to traffic light instead of stopping to go north, they're going on around the corner and honking horns at people that's got the green I, I can see it at Grant Street, at Miami Street, are, are you going to, so is the light going to be, is the technology going to be, so if there's nobody in the left turn lane headed west and wanting to turn south on Miami, does that light going to turn green, it's, you're going to have green, green arrows both ways at the same time, I would guess, because you're not going to have a green light going through if they're turning north with a green arrow. Right. So they're going to be, you're going to be, have to stop there, or, so, or both green arrows going to be the same. There would be no arrow to the right, right. turning south. Right. They yeah. will so abide, they, they'll just be no, no turn on red. They have to wait until it's green before they turn. So you don't have a green arrow turn south going on Miami? Correct. If, if there's no one on the loop, right. Okay, that's what I'm saying. So if then that light's still going to sit there and be red if the people were turning north on Miami. So they have to stop because that light's red. <coughs> the only thing you're doing is to, to prevent people from turning north when the people going east have a green arrow. Right. I just see it, it, to me, it's just like a, just more control, you know? <laughs> if they just drive and, and pay attention, then it would be one thing. Right. It'd be nice if everyone did that. If everyone did that, <laughs> we wouldn't need our police department. I mean, the biggest problem is people turning right on red aren't following the rules of right on red. So you are know, yielding to oncoming traffic. Right, yeah. They're just taking for granted. Red, I stopped, I guess. They're taking for granted that the eastbound traffic is all stopped. But it's, but it's no different at 24 Mexico It's right? not. Right. Yeah. right. I mean, it's the same, it's the same deal. I mean, those lights are timed and mm -hmm. they're yellow and the traffic that wants to turn right on red coming to the city headed east, they seem to figure it out there. You got you got no turn on red here at Main Street, Main right. Broadway. So I always avoid that corner and turn on Miami. Yeah. Now I got to turn on Hood or whatever wants to find out. The only on. <clears throat> the only thing is that's just the no turn on red is strictly from Main Street at Miami. You can still come up Miami and turn right onto Main. Right. On the red light. Correct. Right. You can do that. Yep. 
the only thing it would be just strictly westbound traffic, no turn on red. Yeah, and eastbound. Main and eastbound. So, yeah. And eastbound, right. Yes. right. I was just curious, I mean, why are we doing it now if there haven't been any uh, accidents in well, those yeah. areas? I don't know. I, well, I don't know the data on that. We didn't do that on that. The only the only thing I'll say to that, do we wait until there is one <laughs> the doors open before we close it to keep the horses from getting out? Yeah. Uh, you know, well, the, it, okay. it's a preventative measure yeah. to keep from having accidents at these intersections. Right, I understand that, but I'm just wanting to comment that, that Chris made. I mean, is that going to back up, you know, back traffic up? I mean, he's got, like, to say, if you want to go around, you know, to where you can turn right, is that going to bank traffic up, you know, unnecessarily? Or I'm a bit just wondering. I mean, I'm not for safety. It, 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 I, I will avoid that intersection. <laughs> I'll, I'll start yeah. going a block sooner. You know, what if everybody starts that's going exactly. Right? Now you got more traffic going. Now, and then we keep going with the no turn on red, keep moving it back a block. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. okay. Anything else? You think Just my two cents. <laughs> and is it, Todd, is it on, I mean, is that for 24 hours? Does that apply or? Right, yeah, the, yeah, the no, no turn on red would be, continue, yeah. It'll be the same as Main and Broadway. Yeah. Because Main and Broadway is no turn on red. Same as Daniel and Broadway. No turn on red there going northbound. Can't turn right onto Daniel on a red light. You have to wait on a green light. Any motion or anything from the board? You want to take it under advisement or <clears throat> yeah i'd like to take it under advisement maybe revisit it at our next meeting you have a motion that's i make a motion to take it under advisement i'll second motion been made by ron seconded by matthew take this under advisement until the next meeting which would be two weeks that way we can adjust it uh, I do tend to kind of agree well, before we do that. All those in favor signify saying aye. 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 Opposed, ayes have it. I do kind of, I understand his comment on the eastbound because I thought this was just going to be for westbound only, turning north on Miami because the eastbound would have the green light and also a green arrow at the time which is before the westbound traffic got their green light to go, there might be one or two cars that could go ahead and turn on North well, Miami. That being said, I, Purdue, can, that can come down and do a study for free. So, I could have them come down and look at it, see, get their thoughts. Why don't you do that, yeah. and that way we can have it <clears throat> for our next next yeah. meeting. I mean, if they feel that, you know, and that, that light always is, you know, it's going to always have a green arrow, but you could, we can always change that to just. We had a patrol car hit there, but the guy didn't follow the rules. And he didn't stop at red. He kind of looked and yeah. there was a black car going across the intersection and hit it. But he failed to stop on red. Well, even if they stopped on red, doesn't mean if there's a green arrow from somebody going east turning north. Right. Even if they stop on red and turn, they're thinking they've still got the right of way. If they didn't even turn right on red, the simplest way to stop it, put up a sign, no turn on red. Then when you see somebody turning on red, you, you and your people stop them, give them tickets. Okay, moving on. Chris Marks, Miami County EMA needs to collect an adoption resolution from the city of Peru 
for its work in helping update Miami County multi-hazard mitigation plan. This is a FEMA managed plan that is updated by Miami County entities every five years. All towns and cities that participate in the plan need to officially adopt the final draft. Chris. Yes. Go right ahead. Well, good afternoon. Uh, as you just mentioned, uh, every five years this uh, FEMA plan is updated, uh, coordinated through the Emergency Management Office, and we have a vendor from Indiana University called the Polis Center that we always use to come in. Uh, this is a hard copy of last year's plan just for a prop, but it's got all kinds of county statistics, uh, neat little stats, charts, but overall what this is is a, a, a whole community uh, coordinated uh, planning session which you uh, meet a couple times and uh, you recognize uh, officially your th uh, threats and hazards that your county faces and it's important to uh, participate in it because for one FEMA wants all the incorporated areas in your county as well as uh, this year is different they had all the school corporations uh, were to participate but it's also tied to your uh, potential certain grant monies that might open up but then also if we ever had a disaster declaration where uh, FEMA funds were approved for disaster aid you want to keep your eligibility so that you don't potentially lose on that and this is one of those avenues so where we're at right now is basically it's the we're in the last little bit of this we're just getting the signing off on it saying we've participated and uh, just kind of putting it to bed and I sent a resolution sample that came out of last year's this plan what it looked like as well as the doc the, the template it's pretty much the same uh, I don't know so with without this being signed or anything we wouldn't be eligible for any FEMA money in case a tornado comes through downtown or anything? When they, when they send out that it's time to do this, they like to put that out there so it would be you to do it. I don't know if they actually would, but I've already participated in this pretty standard. I can mm -hmm. go ahead and just keep your eligibility and that way no one can ever come back on you. Uh, just one thing real quick before we forget we need to make a motion to consider resolution one to discuss it you know I'm just making that thought okay I'll make a motion to consider resolution one 2023 second motion being made by Matthew stated by Ron to accept this all in favor signify saying aye aye, aye. aye. opposed ayes have it thank you no, much. That, that was just to consider so just yeah, that consider. consider it. You yeah. need to adopt it. Were Most there many? Were there any changes or many changes from the last five-year resolution? Um, Anything major? Only, the only changes were uh, overall, like nowadays, around here in our community, it's uh, always uh, severe weather-related threats, and again, mostly your man-made hazardous material types of incidents. However, cybersecurity. Uh, I think that's why they have the schools come in. You're getting more domestic terrorism, shootings, things like that. So that was a new component. But then the rest of it was, other than the updating of all the history of these events, which the vendor did, uh, there's a long list of uh, known trouble spots in the, the area and projects, like this road is being flooded or this road on the hill or MDOT had expanded or something. We go through all those and then strike them off if they're no longer done or if there's something planning. So that's where people in the communities also get a chance to say, hey, wait, this or that. Any ordinances that might have been updated, uh, most of them fall through the county, but then the city, you know, even like Bunker Hill, if they got a stormwater thing or something like that, they can add that into a little bit. So minor changes at this. Okay. I'll make a motion that we approve the request and pass resolution one. I'll second that motion. Motion been made by Ron, seconded by Matthew, that we approve the request and grant. 
paperwork that is needed by the EMA. All those in favor signify saying aye. 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 Opposed? Ayes have it. Thank you, Chris. Thank you. Um, can you send me a copy of that? Yeah. Sure. We can, we'll have to get her. Yeah. We'll have to get the signatures and Kurt's not here right now, or he's not here today, so I'll get it tomorrow. Okay. Thank you, guys. Yeah. I appreciate it. All right. Moving right along. Request from Matthew Jonix and Rebecca Thoden to close Park Drive just past the entrance to the golf course off Strawtown in German Street, closed to prohibit access on park. Time would be from 2.30 p.m. to 9 p.m. on Saturday, October 23rd. This would be due to their driving through trunk or treating, correct, Matt? Yes. And uh, just to note a couple things, we not necessarily need to change a lot, but instead of blocking off at German Street, right at Park in German, it needs to be blocked off there at State Road 19 off German Street, and probably one around York, or at least right there off of German and York. That way people can at least, they come on York Street, then go out off on German Street. So it'd be actually blocking off from 19 and Bobtail. Yeah. And then everyone that would come through the park would have to come through off of 19 and Park Drive. Mm -hmm. And this would be one way mm -hmm. going, exiting out Strawtown Pike. Yes. And it will. With a barricade set up just south. Well, it'd be east yeah. of the clubhouse. Yeah, be and so I think the the golf course is having a tournament or something going on at this particular time, and they would be able to come down there and turn around and go back out to Strawtown, because for this night to be what it's designed for, it would be making Park Drive one way, on through. So, yes. um, but German Street would be blocked off at 19 and Bobtail to where nobody could turn on to German Street off of Bobtail or coming south or north on 19. But then you're going to have a problem with York Street because so. somebody could come in off of 19. Well, we'd have to put barricades up at York and German. Just, just. Why do we need to block it up here? <laughs> to keep to keep them from coming in on German Street. So they come in on German, and they see this is blocked. They can go back out on York, or they can turn around. But then you got all of the stuff going on right here, just at the end of German Street, or, or block where it they're off. driving. We need to block it off right up here. German and York. So that's what I say. We'd have to block that one as well. Right. Yeah. So if Because we, that way we couldn't have any traffic coming in off of German at all by making the rest of this one way coming in. Because that way we won't have them. Because down here at the, the pavilion, there's going to be a live band, and that's where it starts handing out candy. And then there's going to be several stops throughout the park on both sides, rotating back and forth, going through and exiting up at Strawtown Pike. Right. And then they can come back either way there. And um, I think my initial image has the X marked after the golf clubhouse, but I think we wanted to move it back to the maintenance barn drive in case someone goes around the thing, around the barrier and doesn't realize they're going too far, they can at least turn around there at the maintenance drive to the barn at the golf course. So they'll be back like what? I don't know. Todd, do you see any problem getting signage up on that, the way yeah, we're dis yeah. discussing it here? Yeah, we'll get road closed ahead, so. It's only for one night. Yeah, it's just the I one think, night. Since you're going to, we're going to have people at, yeah, 
we'll just we'll just uh, Fire Chief, Police Chief, you have anything to add to this? Has any arrangements been made for security? Security how? As I mean, far as, there's only three guys on duty that day. They're going to be just driving through, collecting candy from the parked cars. So do they park the cars and the kids get out? No, they drive through. They just drive through and people think the only the park. only where there's going to be anybody parking and getting out would be my understanding to all this as they come through where the pavilion is if they want to listen to pete and his band then they can park and get out the rest of it is completely drive through keep moving all the way through you don't stop anywhere other than back and forth getting candy for your kids that are in the car so people run up to the car and give them candy there then. right yeah. And I'm going to want to stop and listen, so that'll be yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, just, we just play for ourselves. <laughs> and, uh, and Dan, just for security, I'll be down there too. <laughs> That's what we're doing here. <laughs> Rebecca said she'll be down there as well, so we got two of us at least. Do you have anything like no entrance or something? Because yeah, it's going to be one way coming out on the straw town, but I'm coming down straw town pike and I'm no matter what if it if I can get a vehicle through there, which is going to have to be to let them out. I'm going to turn and go in. Well, you can come turn yeah. and go in, they, but yeah, it'll be blocked said, off on beyond right here. The yeah, parking lot. This is where we want to put yeah, a block where they can't go past where the maintenance drive is. They can okay. Turn around there. okay. So if they want to go into the golf clubhouse parking lot, they can do so that's what you're talking about. Because that way they can still have their golf tournaments and stuff we'll, going on okay. up there the yeah, twilight have, league or whatever it is we'll probably have to angle cone angle them into that right lane up there right rebecca has and you put it up just past the last entrance to the parking lot and that way anybody that pulls in going the wrong way they can go back around the parking lot and go out Right yeah, Pete. Is Park Avenue going to be open? Right, so we can set up at five o'clock to get the yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Still come in on so, State Road. Maybe. It's all going to be one way. If you leave before this is over with, you got to go on out to Straw Town. Yeah. Okay. So. Can you check with Gary, make sure there's no uh, disc golf going on because they park in just down the hill there, and, a lot of, and they start their disc golf. Would There's you, uh, not to be any parking in the park at all that day. Uh, if they're there before 2.30, I be, they would just need to know that they can exit yeah, going to straw to town. Um, I looked at the calendar. There's no park shelters being rented on that day in that area, too, at this moment. So you you want us to block at when the event starts, you're going to slide barricades across that one parking lot? Which one? The, the one off after you enter the park and then you go down past the parks department and then there's that one off on the left. You're going to barricade that off. Well, that's where they're that's going. Where the there's road. going to be vehicles oh, parked okay. on all the parking areas Yeah. Right. down through there handing out candy okay. as the cars are driving through. The uh, this little U-shapes all along, the, there will be different cars throughout that. All right. Yeah, there will be, there'll be cars parked in in that parking lot and in every gravel pull off yeah. there's going to be some places three and four cars parked there so that as people are driving through they'll just approach the cars and hand the kids their candy okay. rebecca Tom. see people wanting to park in at the old ball field and their kids start walking yeah, yeah i've seen that well, happen at trump three we went to once and those cars went through then everybody decided we won't walk it because the kids were dressed up start walking around so well we just had well me and rebecca will both be down there and as maybe one of us can stand there at the entrance not right there like right there at the parking lot entrance and say hey you gotta drive through I mean, if it was all in a parking lot where they could just pull up there and the kids get out and since you're doing it traveling yeah I'm sure there's well, the only thing is we've got over 50 vendors and 50 
people handing out candy throughout the park. That's the reason for them being parked right. all the way through. But you're talking about the parking down there for the amphitheater. Yeah, yeah. people won't park their kids, they won't get out, and they won't walk. So That's if we person. barricade that off, that'll... That so maybe we need to put barricades there. Well, to that, that's where they're driving through. They're coming here, going through the amphitheater parking lot. They'll come lot, down and, and then around back on the park by line. the amphitheater. Because there's going to be people park, park They'll there. come in on the north driveway, go out on the south driveway, and turn and go down through the park. Then. Are you advertising that it's drive through? we got to talk to Rebecca. What? Why couldn't you still put some no parking signs up? and make like a just make like you say with cones or something so that there's only room for a vehicle to go through there's nobody could pull off and park and get out so basically put it put a driving lane in that parking lot yeah. can we do that because then that'll eliminate people wanting to park there and get out they will have no place to park and if they I do don't wait by kids to start working and get hit that's why i'm afraid right. i've seen that happen not get hit that's right this is supposed to be drive-through only, but you know, for the first hour, it's going to be the handicapped children that comes through in vehicles that are in wheelchairs and things such as that to get them through first too. So, yes, sir. Yes. I got to talk to see if she wants our side by sides. Okay. I'm sure she'll take it. <laughs> I think she asked for it specifically <laughs> last week. Yeah, I have a motion. I'll make a motion. We approve the request. Second. Motion been made by Ron, seconded by Matthew that we approve the request. All okay. those in favor signify saying aye. 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 Opposed, eyes have it. Moving right along. Brenda Douglas, representing the building department, requesting the Board of Works approve for public offering the sale of certain properties in the city. We only have one bid, correct? Mm -hmm. Do you want to go ahead and open that? Mm -hmm. Okay, to read this before we vote on it or anything, Brenda Douglas on behalf of City of Peru Building Department, like to request the Board of Works approve the sale of city owned lots and determine that the properties have been offered to an abutting landowner. The cost to the public of maintaining these track equals or exceeds the estimated fair market value. It is economically unjustified to sell the track under section 4 IC 361-11. The properties are listed below as nine, at 64 Adams, 405 West 5th, 15 Bobtail, and 107 Daniel. This is the first public offering if only one eligible offer to purchase is received on the track, then subject to section 16 of IC 36-1-11, and without appraisal or further notice, the disposing agent shall offer to negotiate for sale of the track with the abutting landowner. Mm -hmm. If more than one eligible offer to purchase the track, the eligible bidders who Submitted officers shall be informed of the highest offer received and be given an opportunity to submit one A additional offer due June 20th, 23. The track shall be sold to the eligible bidder who submits the highest offer for the track of who complies with any requirement under subsection D. Parentheses three. 
You say you do have one bid? We have one bid for mm -hmm. Property Street Address 64 Adams. Mm -hmm. My, uh, the bid amount is $5,100. Are these vacant lots, all of them? Probably. Are they vacant lots? Yes. Yeah. And who's the name? The name of the bidder, Jeremy Dustin Phillips. Is that all first names or is that his like first, middle, last name? Jeremy is his first name. Oh. Dustin is his middle name and Phillips is his last name. I didn't know if it was like three different people combined. But. 64 Adams is a 9,900 square foot track of land assessed value at $5,100, which was his bid, correct? And the correct. bid is 5100 And the minimum bid on that property was $5,005. Right. I'll make a motion we accept the bid and forward it to the building department for possible awarding of the successful bidder. Second. Motion been made and seconded that we accept the $5,100 bid to be forwarded to the board. All those in favor signify saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Ayes have it. With no other bids, are, are they going to be They'll working be, with the landowners in next doors? Be well, likely um, that's to be advertised done. to the general public for the next go-around for the yeah. ones that did not have bids, which... All of the those other properties had already been offered to the adjacent or abutting landowners and none of them wanted them. Okay. Uh, moving on, communications. Uh, can I make a motion that we amend the agenda to consider a request from Sandy Chittam for downtown Christmas? Open no, house. we decided to wait on that until the next board of work. I believe okay. Kurt emailed her saying it will be put on because it will. He, Kurt had already Thank talked you. to her about it. And okay. There will still be plenty of time left. All right. Then I withdraw my motion. Okay. Under communications, we do have the trunk retreat coming up in the park, as everyone heard on Saturday. Uh, the 21st. It's going to be a. Hopefully a decent turnout and a lot of kids will be up there getting a lot of candy. I know Dan will be. He'll go through a couple times trying to get all the chocolate. Yeah, I'll do my best. <laughs> so, any other communications or anything from the audience? I'd like to ask Todd or the city well, on behalf of my friend who works at Logan Sport Memorial Hospital. It is a disaster there. Try to get across Forest, Main, maybe one car will eke out, and then you've got on both directions, you've got traffic coming in. It gets congested. They have to either go downtown, go under the uh, underpass. So is there, all she wanted to know, is there a timeline when we maybe will be installing the traffic lights there? Forest, um, Main. That there is no set time. Right now, it's still out on bids. Oh, so we're not even, okay. So we're not, we're not close to, we're close to awarding a bid for that. Yeah. However, it's still not going to happen real quick. Okay. Hopefully, we want it to be done and started before the winter months, but I don't see that happening. Is there a possibility? You remember when uh, all those cars were moving out of uh, Square D at about 3.30, there was a police officer there directing the flow of traffic and stopping it. They worked, they worked for that factory. They didn't work as a policeman. Oh, I see. It's the factory right. hired, yeah, the right. factory oh, hired them okay. to so come in. Right. Same way down at uh, Park. When they came off of Park, Park Avenue. Uh, 
the factory back there had hired off-duty police officers to come out and stop traffic while they were exiting. So is that an option for Logansport Memorial to hire a police officer? It's an option provided they can, the FOP can get it done. Yeah. Uh, first of all, you got to, they have to put it up for bids within the department yeah. and within the FOP members at so much an hour, and I'm not sure what that is now. Second of all, you have to find somebody that's actually willing to go down there for a half hour or 40 minutes and stop and direct your traffic. Yeah. It's so random, too, isn't it? I mean, it, it, yeah. it would be an all-day. No, there <laughs> well, there, there's uh, a lot of traffic. I'll just tell you how many cars go by there today. 12,800. Wow. That's that's flat, and that was counted when Kelly Avenue Bridge was closed. Yeah. So <laughs> a lot of cars go by there. So I, we have one bid on this project to install a traffic signal? Uh, it's the whole road that we do. Yeah. yeah it's it, it's road. every, uh, it's one, con right? it, it's so one continuous on. bid, yeah. including the traffic signal and forest. And widening. Right. Okay. Now, that doesn't include the second phase, which, you know, is bringing Canal Street into Forest at second. Okay, I, see, yeah. I, would just, so. I would just say, hey, Pete, if you want an update on that, call Brooke. That would, that's why I would say call her, and she'll tell you exactly where it's at and everything you need to know on it. I know it's been out for bids, but the bid hadn't been awarded yet. I mean, realistically, is it going to happen within a year? It's supposed to. Supposed to have they've, they've got until Somewhere. 2025 to get it done 2025. without losing any of the funding. So. Okay. Nothing else? We're up for adjournment. Make a motion we adjourn. Second. All those in favor signify saying aye. Aye. aye.